What's up guys and welcome to my new let's play of, in case you haven't guessed where this door is from, Fallout New Vegas. This is Doc Mitchell's house right at the very beginning of the game. Uh, I've already gone through the startup procedures and everything and uh, I'm going to do this let's play as an RP so I'm going to try not to break character as much as possible. Probably will when I level up just so I can tell you guys what I'm doing and such with uh, things. So let me just quickly show you my special skills. So I put um, three skills into intelligence and one into charisma. Uh, because of a certain perk that I took, I have minus one agility. I also put one skill into strength as well. Uh, in terms of my skills, I took barter, guns, and explosives to start the game with because I know that I'm going to need them in the uh, opening sections. Um, when we do this first one. I uh, took Wild Wasteland and Heavy Handed as my two perks because I, I like using uh, melee damage for certain things now uh, and Wild Wasteland is just fun so you know it's always good to look at stuff so uh, in terms of that um, I also have all the mods, uh, no mods installed, it's completely vanilla but I have all of the DLC installed um, so that includes the Gunrunners bundle, so I've started the game with quite a few things here, as it already see. So, a little bit cheaty, I think. Um, I didn't actually start the game with all these things last time I played it, so this would be a new one to start it with. And, uh, yeah, we can just see how we go on. Uh, okay, we're, we're going to get those come up, I think. Um, but, yeah, let's um, let's equip a 9mm to start with. I've already put the lightweight metal armor on. And, um, yeah, right, let's start this. Oh god. Oh god, my head. Oh. Oh. Wow. That oh, that's bright. Don't get me wrong. I'm thankful for uh the doc fixing me up and whatnot, but whew, brain surgery sure takes its toll. Oh, God damn. You find out what happened. Remember the guy? The doc told me I gotta look for sunny smiles. Better go, uh. Go ask around, see if I can find out where she is. Or something. Hey. Howdy, partner. Might I say you're looking fit as a fiddle? Uh, thanks for digging me out of the grave. I'm always ready to lend a helping hand to a stranger in need. Uh, do you know who those men were who attacked me? Can't say that I'm familiar with the rascals. Some of the fine folks in town might be able to help you out with that. How did you happen to find me? I was out for a stroll that night when I heard the commotion up at the old bone orchard. It's all it looked like a bunch of bad eggs, so I laid low. Once they'd run off, I dug you up to see if you were still kicking. Turns out you were, so I hauled you off to the dock right quick. I've never seen a robot like you before. I'm a Securitron. Robco Security Model 2060B. If you ever see any of my brothers, tell them Victor says howdy. How did you end up in Good Springs? I moseyed into town oh, 10, 15 years ago. Before that, I... Um, I can't quite seem to recall. Odd. Anyway, it's a right peaceful town, and I reckon it's as fine a place to settle as any. Well, I better be going. Goodbye. Happy trails! Well, that's a first. Never seen a robot cowboy before. Anyway, huh, a saloon. I guess it's as good a place as any to ask around, see if I can find something about this girl. Cheyenne, stay. Don't worry, she won't bite unless I tell her to. Uh huh, so you're Sunny Smiles. Doc Mitchell said you could teach me to survive in the desert. Yeah. I guess there's a thing or two I could show you. Sounds like you need all the help you can get after what they done to you. Meet me outside, behind the saloon. 
Sounds like a mighty fine invitation if I do say so myself. Hmm. Anyway. Guess I better go find out what she wants. Let's go this way. Huh. This, uh... Damn, they have some devil gun with creatures these days. Never can tell the difference between a mole rat and a bighorner. Especially the size of some of them. Now, see the sarsaparilla bottles on the fence there? Take this and try to hit a couple of them. Thanks for the rifle. Huh. That was great. Okay, let's give this a shot. Damn, missed him. That's the right idea. Yeah. That's more like it. Or not. Let's try it without looking down the sights. Let's try it with looking down the sights. Try crouching down and staying still. It'll help your aim. All right, I'm on my knees. Always looking to please. Well, that's a start. But I don't reckon you came to me to learn to fight sarsaparilla bottles. Tell you what, I gotta go chase geckos away from our water supply anyway. Darn critters are attracted to it. Why don't you come along? Okay, I'm in. Follow me. It's just down to the southeast a short ways. I think I'll take my pistol back now, though. Thank you very much. And I stand up. This better not be too far. I just had brain surgery, you know. God. Look at me. My strange hair. Dear God. Hey, how much further to this place? Ain't got all day, you know. And this sun ain't getting any cooler. Shut up, you dumb dog. God, you're noisy. How much further, Jesus? God, you're taking your time. Are we there yet? Are we there yet? Hear that up on the ridge behind me there? We got some geckos that clear out. Bunch of little monsters is what they are. Seems like Doc Mitchell treats more gecko bites than anything else. Let's see if we can get a little closer. If we move quietly, we can get the jump on them. More likely to hit something vital that way. Okay, sounds like a plan. Okay, you're on. Go give him hell. That one there? I can't see. I'm gonna guess. I don't know. I can't really see from this sight. Oh god. Where is one of them? I can't see. Oh boy, here we go. Take this, you little bastard. And this. Got a miss and hit a bucket. Oh boy. That was closer than it needed to be. What the hell? Taking your hide. Yo, Sonny! I'm finished here. Little bastards are all dead. See? You're getting the hang of it. There's two more wells that still need clearing. You want, you can come along. It'd be worth a few caps to me. Hell, anything to wear some caps. Yeah, I'll come with. Shouldn't take more than a couple minutes, especially with two of us. Come with me. This better not be as long as the last time. Jesus. That would took too long. Just taking a little sip from my canteen. Like I said, the sun's not getting any cooler. Goddamn desert wasteland. Oh boy, here we go. She can do most of the work on this one. Kill the damn thing, Sonny, come on. Thought that was a bear on top of that thing. Must be seeing things, this desert heat. 
Whew, we've been only going 10 minutes and wow my feet are getting tired already oh boy here's the little bastards get away from her she ain't yours you there holy moly if you hadn't come here like you done I'd be a goner for sure I came up here to draw water but here you should have what I got you look thirsty well thanks well that was mighty nice of her that it Sonny now that was some good work even got a little exciting there at the end Here's a little spending money for the trouble. One more thing I wanted to show you. Thought I might teach you about living off the land and making useful things for yourself. Interested? Couldn't hurt, I guess. Alright then. We'll need a couple ingredients to get started. Gonna want some Xander root and a Brock flower. Let me think now. I know I've seen Brock flowers growing up at the graveyard, and I seem to remember there being Xander root over by the schoolhouse. Bring those on back to me, and we'll get cooking. Oh boy. Okay, right. I guess... I guess we should go do this, really. I mean, if I just walked off and left her, it's like she'd just be standing there for me all this time. Hey, Cheyenne. You weren't really much use there back there, were you? God. Dogs these days. Think they're gonna fight for you, but... In the end, they'll probably just turn around and bite your face off. God knows what we're gonna do. This place is just a barren wasteland. And this is only a very small part of it. Who the hell are you? Are you a merchant of some sort? No. Whoa. Any lawman that comes after me won't have it easy. NCRCF, NCR Correctional Facility, get here. You eyeballing me? Powder gangers. God. Looks like all those prisoners broke out again. Not the first time this has happened. I sure as hell won't be the last. Damn, NCR hasn't got a hold on anything around here. All those Legion folk up in West. Or east of the Nevada. Right. Where are we going? Now then. Sonny said that we could get some of the flowers over by the schoolhouse, if I remember rightly. Let's go check here. Uh oh. Looks like trouble. Little green bastards! Take this! And this! And this! Yeah, that'll teach you. Now then, where can I find these things? She saw some growing up by the schoolhouse. She didn't say where. Oh, got some jalapenos, I guess. Well, that'll sure make things a little bit spicier. Not that we need it any hotter out here, but whatever. I ain't want to argue with good food. Well, I guess we better look inside, I guess. Uh oh, more of these little bastards. Oh boy, there's a few of them. Oh boy. All right, I tell you what. Come here. You're getting the you're getting the machete treatment. You look green, then I can cut you. And you, come here. Any more of you bastards in here? Oh yeah, here we go. Take that. Now then, what else are we going to find in here? Hmm. It's like a safe. I can't open it. I haven't got the right knowledge to open it. Hmm. These things could be useful. I'll take them for later. Nope. Looks like good reading. Especially when I'm sitting on the john. Not much to read here in the wasteland, you know. Hmm. Nothing here. Nothing I really want, anyway. Detergent. 
Not much call for cleaning these days. Hello, what have we here? Bobby pins. Well, when I start unlocking things, bobby pins might come in handy. Suppose we should uh, head out. Man, where the hell am I meant to find something like this? Is it? Is that it? Is that it right there? God damn it! Right under my nose, and I didn't even know. Not a single clue. Right, the next one she said was up by the graveyard. Well, I sure as hell know where that is, considering I was there not too long ago, having my brains blown all over it. Damn bastard. The hell did he want with that chip, anyway? No matter. I'll just do a few jobs, get my strength back up, and go kill that son of a bitch. Just like he killed me. Now then. Graveyard. This way. Here we go. Hmm. Good thing I got this Pip-Boy. If it wasn't for this thing, I probably got lost many times. Oh boy. Alright. Come here. Come here, you little bastard. You're, yeah! Yeah! Looks like we're having sliced rad scorpion for dinner. Any more of you bastards up here? Oh boy. Well, they say flies gather around shit. And you, come here. Who's next? Who wants some? Come here, you asshole. I'll fucking cut you. You're last. I liked you. I killed you last. That's right. What's this here? Huh. Right. Huh. Looks like it might be worth something. Good thing I took it. Now then. What on earth? Why is this one cordoned off? Huh, probably radioactive. Oh boy, this is all too familiar. Not too eager to jump back into one of these anytime soon, I can tell you that much. Right. Now then, where's this plant that she wants me to get? This one. Brock flower, that's right. Okay. I guess, let's see. Where is she on the map? Okay. Let's just travel over there real quick. Sonny! I got the things that you wanted me to get. Sonny, where are you? Oh, here she is. Just clambering my way down these rocks. Let me see what you got. Yeah, these will do just fine. Just fine. All right now, we're gonna be making something folks on the trail call healing powder. Go on over to that campfire now. Give it a try. Alrighty, doke. Let's give it a go. Hey, that's not bad. See, all it takes to make a recipe is the right ingredients and the right know-how. Sometimes it won't be a campfire you need. Might need to do some work on your guns and ammo, maybe. Important thing to get is it's all the same idea. You just need to find the right place to set up shop workbench or reloading bench whatever well I hope that's enough to get you started I'm heading back now hope I didn't miss anything good on the jukebox Cheyenne would never forgive me hey do me a favor Trudy she's the bartender up at the prospector kind of the town mom she likes to meet newcomers she'd be cross with me if I didn't ask you to poke your head in and say hi well alrighty then I guess uh, we better head back up to town Hmm, let me take a look on the map again. Yeah, it wouldn't hurt to travel fast again. Alrighty, let's go say hi to Trudy then. Now then, Trudy, 
Hello. We'll keep that in mind. Now, if you're not gonna buy something, get out. Hey asshole, come here. What do you want? What was that you said about Ringo? He's some traitor who decided he'd rather shoot than pay the toll for being in our territory. He's hiding somewhere in town. Would serve these idiots right if me and my guys shot the place up after we got payback on Ringo. What say I help you take over this town? Let me get out of town. Too many unfriendly years around. This area is your territory? It is now. Me and the rest of the guys busted out of the NCR prison east of here and took over. Now we're calling the shots. I cannot stand convicts. What were you in prison None for? None of your damn business. You ought to know better than to ask a man that kind of question. Never mind then. Yeah, forget about it. Right, well, guess you better get going then. Back to your cell, convict. Yeah. Glad to see we agree on something. Goddamn convicts. Trudy, hi. Well, you've been causing quite a stir. Glad I finally got to meet you. Welcome to the Prospector Saloon. I overheard your argument. What was all that about? Looks like our little town got itself dragged into the middle of something we don't want anything to do with. About a week ago, this traitor, Ringo, comes into town. Survivor of an attack, he says. Bad men after him. Needs a place to hide. We figured he was just in shock. So we gave him a place to lie low. We didn't actually expect anyone to come after him. Where is Ringo now? He's holed up at the abandoned gas station up the hill. What are you gonna do? Some of the others, like Sonny, will probably stand up for Ringo if he asks for help, which he hasn't. Personally, I hope he sneaks out of town one night and takes the powder gangers with him. Powder gangers? Chang gangs, really. The NCR brought them in from California to work on the rail lines. Problem is, it turns out that giving convicts a bunch of dynamite and blasting powder isn't the best idea. It was a big escape not too long ago. Some of them stuck together so they could make trouble. That's what we're dealing with now. Damn idiots. When are they going to learn that giving convicts weapons is never going to be a good idea? Well, why not just kill Cobb and be done with it? You mean murder him? That's not our way, even if Cobb is scum. He can bluster and threaten all he wants. Never mind. I want to talk about something else. Alright. So what happens if I help this Ringo guy? If you were able to get Ringo out of this mess, you'd have a decent reputation around Good Springs. I'd even set you up with a discount. Of course, helping Ringo would also make the Powder Gangers mad. And they've got a lot of friends out there. So I help this Ringo dude. And Good Springs would like me more. But what if I help the Powder Gangers? Don't know why you'd want to do a thing like that. Yep, you'd get on their good side, but people around here wouldn't appreciate it one bit. I'm trying to track down the people who attacked me. Do you perhaps know anything about that? Not much. Other than there are a bunch of freeloaders who expected a few rounds on the house. I was able to get them to pay up, though. Of course, one of the great cons did knock my radio to the floor by accident. And it hasn't been working since. Did my attackers say where they were going? They were having some kind of argument about it, but the guy in the checkered coat kept shushing them. It sounded like they came in from the north through Quarry Junction. If that's the case, I can't say I blame them for not wanting to go back. Why not Quarry Junction? Why is that? That whole area is overrun with the kind of critters that just get mad if you shoot them. Merchants avoid that whole stretch of I-15 like it's radioactive, which it could be for all I know. Hmm, sounds dangerous. Think I'll avoid it sometime. So where were they headed? I didn't hear exactly, but the leader was talking about the strip. If fellow wants to get there and avoid the 15, he'd have to go east. Take Highway 93 up. Okay. Would you want me to take a look at your broken radio? Sure. The outside looks okay, but I think something broke on the inside. There'd be caps in it for you. I do like to hear what's going on in the world. And that Mr. New Vegas seems like such a gentleman. Hmm. Okay. Anything else interesting that you know going on in the rest of the wasteland? There's always something interesting going on. 
But the biggest news has to be the coming dust up between the NCR and the Legion over the dam. Tell me more about this NCR. The New California Republic's got the most power in Nevada. Money, troops, you name it. They do what they can to keep things safe in the region. But if you ask me, they're trying to do too much. They're spread too thin. Why do you think the NCR and the Legion both want the dam so much? I'm pretty sure the NCR wants to hold on to the dam because it's one of the few places around that can make electricity. The Legion are a bunch of savages, though. No idea why they'd want the dam. They probably plan on destroying it or something. What can you tell me about the Legion? Slavers, killers, and all other kinds of trouble. They dress up like Roman soldiers, so there's no mistaking it when you see them. The rumor is, is that the Legion is far larger than the NCR lets on, and that it's been due to luck that the Legion hasn't overrun the territory. Sounds dangerous, but I guess I better get going, so thanks. Goodbye. Be careful out there. I'll try my best. Thanks, Trudy. Now then, her radio. Hmm. Let's give it a go. Great. Hey, Trudy. Feeling thirsty? I fixed your radio. Yeah, I heard it turn right back on after you got done tinkering with it. Here's some caps for the work. That's it? Are you implying that I've done shoddy work? Not at all. I'm never sure how much is normally charged for this sort of thing. Here's some additional caps. That should be enough. Now, how about spending some of those caps in the saloon? <laughs> Hell no. I'm not spending them here. Be careful out there. We'd want to drink in a dingy dirt joint like this. Anyway... Let's go see about this Ringo fella. Hmm. This is the back room. I should not be in here. Hmm. Anything nice in here? Not that I can see. Hmm. No. No, I can't. I can't with the right mind steal from this lady. I've already robbed her enough of those caps. <laughs> Dumb broad. Anyway, let's go see this guy up in the... Up in the gas station. Sounds like he's in a bit of a ruck himself. Kindred spirits. Him and I. Both exiles in this little town. That doesn't have a clue what's going on. Anyway. Hey look, Sunset's Asparilla. Oh man, I love this stuff. Oh wow, four bottles. Awesome. Right. Here we go. That's close enough. Who are you? Whoa, 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 buddy. I'm not an enemy, if that's what you're asking. Sorry about the gun. You just caught me off guard, that's all. We got off to a bad start. Let's say we start over with a friendly game of caravan. Did you know that there's a man named Joe Cobb looking for you? Yeah. He doesn't look very tough, though. I hear he's afraid I'll shoot him down from one of the windows when I see him. And he's right. I'll have a much bigger problem once his friends show up. There's no way I could handle all of them in a gunfight. What are you going to do about the Powder Gangers, then? I'm going to lay low for as long as I can, assuming the town doesn't throw me to the wolves. I've got no chance against the gang on my own. Maybe I can help you with that situation. we just end up sharing the same grave if it's just the two of us. Now, if some of the other people in town were also on board... I see where you're going with this. I'll ask around and see what I can round up. Start with Sunny Smiles. She's been friendlier than most around here. Yep, I seem to get that impression from a lot of folks. Hmm. Maybe it's just the men she's friendly to. <laughs> Doesn't seem like the sort for, sort for that. Want that, I better go to Gamora. The strip's a rather decadent place. Full of chems and slavers. Slavers in the flesh, that is. The Amertas have a lot of uh, problems over there, shall we say. Now then, where are we going? Let's talk to Sunny. I'm assuming she's in here. Well, I thought she was. Huh, maybe I was wrong. There she is. Damn, she took a long time getting back. Well, doesn't surprise me. Hi there. Sticking around Good Springs for a while longer? 
I'm gonna help Ringo take on the Powder Gangers. I may need your help. Say no more. I'm in. Well, okay. That was a bit easy. Joe Cobb talks about leaving us alone if we hand over Ringo. But I know his type. He and his friends will come after the town eventually. However, between you, me, and Ringo, we aren't exactly a force to be reckoned with. A lot of people around here look up to Trudy. If you could convince Trudy to join us, some of the folks in town might decide to help out as well. I know Easy Pete's got a stock of dynamite somewhere, and Chet just got a shipment of leather armor we could borrow. Talk to them as well. Finally, there's a good chance we'll all end up with extra holes in us. So if Doc Mitchell could cough up some extra stim packs, that'd be great. Any ideas on how I can convince Trudy to join us? A silver tongue would help. Convincing Trudy that we had a good plan to win the fight would also help. Would Chet be willing to give us any supplies? I don't think give is in Chet's vocabulary. Even with the town at stake, he'd still make you barter with him. What about Pete's dynamite? Easy Pete's pretty protective of his dynamite. You'd have to convince him you know a thing or two about explosives before you handed it over. Okay. Sounds good. I'll go see what I can do, and I'll talk to you later. Bye. I'll be waiting. Okay, let's go talk to Chet first. I get a feeling that I can smooth talk him into giving me some things. Hey, what up, buddy? Hey there. You must be the one Doc Mitchell was patching up. The way I heard it, I didn't think you'd be walking out of that office. I've got plenty of supplies for sale. Even got some weapon mods and special ammo. Well worth the caps if you ask me. If you're hurting for caps, I've also got boxes of surplus ammo in the miscellaneous section. They're not great, but you get what you pay for. Well, that's not quite what I came in for. I need supplies to fight the Powder Gangers. Now just hold on. I never voted to take on the Powder Gangers. That's a thousand cap investment you're talking about. Let me take over the town then. Let them take over the town then. I'm sure your business will be much better off. You made your point. I can provide people with some leather armor and extra ammo. Sure hope it's worth it. And, uh, I'll be guarding the store while all this is going on. I have to put my business first. You understand. <laughs> sure thing, asshole. Take it easy now. Capitalist businessmen are all the same. Alright, so we've leveled up. Whew, damn. Uh, keeping characters harder than I think, actually, sometimes. Um... Okay, so we're at level 2 now. We're going to need a little bit of a silver tongue to convince Trudy. So we're going to go with uh, some points in speech. I think 25 should be enough. Uh, in terms of explosives, I've got 30. That's fine. Barter, fine. Guns, fine. Uh, I'm going to put some into medicine so that Doc Mitchell will give us the things we need. I'm also going to put some into lockpick because I need to get that up to do stuff. Uh, for now guys I'm gonna leave it off there so thanks for watching and uh, yeah if you like this comment rate subscribe all that jazz and I'll see you next time thanks for watching bye